Hi guys, welcome to the final Christmas special video and today we're going to make a wonderful Christmas tree dessert. First we're going to make our own chocolate, then we're going to make a Christmas tree tree, a hazelnut praline and a raspberry ganache. So, let's begin. First the chocolate. Take two cocoa pods and cut them all around on the middle. Now break the pods in half and remove the cocoa beans from the peel. The white fruit should already be a bit soft, so this should be pretty easy. Then transfer the cocoa beans into a preserving jar and remove the sealing ring. Now cover it and let it ferment for 5 to 6 days. Do this in a hot spot in your house at around 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. Two times a day you'll need to hustle it and drain the liquid. The first day there isn't going to be much liquid, but the second day it should be a lot more. On day 2 and 3 you can also keep the liquid. It's very sweet and tastes a lot like lychee and mango. A quick tip to keep the preserving jar at a consistent temperature is to put it on your TV receiver if you have one. Even if it's off it will always generate some heat. Now it's day 6 and the beans are fermented. As you can see the beans are almost completely clean and they're turned a bit brown as well. Then transfer the beans on a tray that's lined with a silicon sheet and let them air dry for 2 days. Mix them twice a day. Once that's done, toast them at 170 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Then let them cool down for a couple of minutes and remove the membrane. Now transfer 40 grams of melted cocoa butter into a wet grinder and turn it on. Then slowly add 260 grams of the clean cocoa nibs and let it grind for one hour. After the hour also add 100 grams of sugar and let it grind for at least 12 hours. I know it takes a while, but that's the only way to get a super smooth chocolate. Once the chocolate is smooth, turn off the grinder and transfer the chocolate into a bowl. Then we'll need to temper the chocolate. Pour 4 fifths on your worktop and while moving it with a pellet knife, cool it down till it's 28 degrees Celsius. Then transfer it back into the bowl and mix it till the chocolate's temperature is 31 degrees Celsius. Directly clean your worktop, otherwise it's going to be a lot of trouble later on. Now pour the chocolate into a mold and tap the mold a couple of times to remove any air bubbles. Then let the chocolate crystallize till it has completely let go of the mold, like this. Then remove it from the mold and keep it for later. Now for the raspberry gel. First mix 500 grams of frozen raspberries with 50 grams of sugar and cover it well with plastic wrap. Now heat it up on a bain-marie for around 3 hours on a low heat. Then remove the wrap and let the liquid drain on a sieve that's lined with a kitchen paper. Do this for at least 3 hours in your fridge. Now pour 200 grams of the raspberry broth into a saucepan and mix it with 2 grams of hacker powder. Bring this to a boil for at least 1 minute. Once it has boiled, pour it into a bowl and let it cool down completely in your fridge. Then transfer it into a blender and blend it into a smooth gel. Now keep it in your fridge for later. Then for the white chocolate snow, mix 100 grams of sugar with 30 grams of water and heat this up till it's 135 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile transfer 100 grams of white chocolate into a bowl and melt it. Once the sugar is 135 degrees Celsius, slowly while mixing add it to the melted white chocolate. This will create a delicious powder. Now let it cool down at room temperature. Then transfer it into a blender and blend it into a fine powder. Now for the hazelnut praline. Mix 200 grams of sugar with 50 grams of water and caramelize it on a medium heat till golden brown. Then add 200 grams of hazelnuts. These hazelnuts are with skins, but it doesn't really matter if they're with or without skins. And keep on mixing while heating the caramel for 3 to 4 minutes. After that, transfer it onto a silicon sheet. Then spread it and let it cool down completely. Now break it in smaller pieces and add a vanilla pot. Then blend it till it's a smooth praline. This takes around 5 minutes. This time it doesn't need to be 100% smooth. Some texture will give the dish a very nice bite. Then transfer it into a bowl. After that transfer 20 grams on each plate. Then spread it and let it set out of the fridge. Now a little trick. For that cut a wine cork in 3 pieces and place them in a triangle on the outside of a plate. Then put another plate on top and continue stacking all your plates. 
This is a great way to save some space. Now for the ganache. Mix 80 grams of sugar with 30 grams of water and caramelize it on a medium heat till golden brown. Once caramelized while stirring, add 60 grams of the raspberry broth and 20 grams of cream. Then also add 60 grams of dark chocolate. Mix it well until it's fully emulsified. Then transfer it into a piping bottle and cover the top of the hazelnut praline. Keep this in your fridge for later. Now for the Christmas tree. Mix 60 grams of egg white with 40 grams of sunflower oil, 50 grams of sugar, 2 grams of salt, 10 grams of butter, 50 grams of flour and a touch of green coloring powder. Blend this. Then transfer it onto a silicon mold and spread it. The mold I'm using here is from Mold Brothers. Now bake it at 160 degrees Celsius for around 15 minutes. Then merge the two trees into a beautiful Christmas tree. Now dust the trees with a little bit of white chocolate snow and also dust a thin layer on the chocolate ganache. Then gently place the Christmas tree on the plate as well and decorate it with the raspberry gel. And now it's ready to be served. Okay guys, that's it for today. The final episode of the Christmas special is done and the dish looks amazing. It's a beautiful Christmas tree. Um, I really love the praline and the chocolate. Making my own chocolate was a lot of fun as usual. I hope you guys enjoyed that as well and that you also give it a try. It's really so much fun to do and the whole process. Yeah, it's very interesting. So let's just, yeah, let's kill the tree first. Yeah. It's kind of sad. Yeah, the praline is really delicious. And the chocolate ganache, it's quite um, sturdy. Do you call that sturdy? It's quite elastic, but I think it's really nice. Yeah, that's super delicious. Beautiful flavors. The praline with the homemade chocolate and the raspberry, super, super delicious. Um, so guys, I hope you've enjoyed this Christmas, uh, this year's Christmas special. Please let me know in the comments on what you want to see after the special. Um, so next week, actually, I wish you all a Merry Christmas and I hope you get to spend it with your loved ones, your friends and family. And as always, Bon Appetit. Merry Christmas.